What is up guys, it's Adam Bomb, and welcome to a brand new episode of Scrap Mechanic. In this episode, we're hopefully going to be controlling my new pod racer. Yes, I made a pod racer, and it works pretty well, actually. It works better than the regular hovercraft, which if you guys haven't seen that episode, I'll leave a link to it right now. The only thing that sucks about it is it doesn't work that great on hills, but as you guys can see, it's actually pretty fast and pretty awesome on a, basically anything else. So we can follow a path. The turning is very responsive, and I'm really proud of it. Occasionally it hits some glitches like that, but overall it's probably the best hovercraft I've made so far. Oh, looks like I found one of my old rockets over here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, so I'm going to try and hopefully go somewhere with this. Oh, don't knock into the tree. Oh, gosh. Alright. Well, one thing I don't have is a way to go backwards. Alright, so let's go on our way. I'm going to kind of take you guys down the valley. And hopefully not get caught on stuff. Ah, uh, okay. So I basically need to have the front rockets on at all times. Okay, so I'm going to help myself a little bit by editing this a little bit. So you guys can kind of watch what I do. And unfortunately, it's a little bit heavy towards this side. And that's because of all the pod racer crap I added. So um, I know it's not the best looking pod racer ever. But it's probably the closest thing you'll see to it in this game, just because there isn't any rope or anything yet. I think once they add rope, there's going to be a lot of possibilities for this game making sleds and stuff. So to make it a little bit more front heavy, I'm going to add some metal right there. And then I'm going to add some metal on the opposite side right here. I think everything is basically perfectly symmetrical, so... Uh, I don't think that helped that much. Let's get in it and try and move this thing out of here. Alright, so as you guys can see, it's still a little bit off. I'm going to try and get in it and try and reorient it. And what I really wish I would have done is built this on a flat map, but you know, I can't go back and do that now. So we're going to have to do what we can in this flat area over here. Okay, so now that it's in a good spot, let's try and fix it a little bit. Let's see how it's floating. It's actually not bad. It's still moving a little bit, but I can't complain too much. Is everything even though? One, two, three, four. One two three four yep okay so let's see where is the weight coming from I think it's over here actually so I'm gonna add some weight like right here and then right there I think that might help a lot so now it's pretty much even let's get in there I think I did make it a lot better it is a little bit slower now but I have to trade that speed for the uh, compatibility with the ground so I think this will work a lot better Oh my god, this is so cool. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think of this pod racer. I think it's pretty awesome. I don't know if there's a whole lot I can do with it, but I'm going to ride it around for a little bit and see what it can do. So we did slow it down a little bit, but I think it looks like a better pod racer now. So I want to hear you guys' suggestions to see what I can actually do to make it look like a real pod racer since there isn't any rope in this game or cable. Uh, I really hope they add something like that. Oh my god, the turning radius on this thing is actually not that bad. So we're going to head back to base if we can. It's usually pretty easy to get back, but I'm kind of... It's been a while since I've controlled this thing, so I'm sorry if it looks like it's way worse than it actually is. It's actually a pretty good creation by my standards. I don't know, what other Star Wars creations do you think I could make in this game? I've seen some people do some like TIE Fighters and X-Wings and stuff that, you know, kind of work, but like aren't the best, they aren't that fast. So this isn't that fast for a pod racer, and I could probably make a huge rocket outfitted machine, but I don't know how well it would work, so. So at the very least, this is a lot faster than running. And once we pick up some speed and we don't hit as many obstacles, oh god. I'm actually pretty decent at avoiding obstacles in this thing. The turning radius is pretty good, and we're almost back at base. Please don't hit this thing. Alright, well, that's good enough. Let's get out of this puppy. It really doesn't move that much. Look, I can just leave it like my other hovercraft. Uh, it is moving a little bit, but, you know, not that big of a deal. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you guys something new I made. I, this episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter than normal. Um, but this is my other theme park ride. I kind of wanted to make a theme park theme. I don't know why that's spinning in the background, but... Um, yeah, this is my super, uh, human cyclotron. So let's, uh, where is the driver's seat? Um, there's one of these that is the controlling seat. So I think it's this one. All right, so let's see what happens if I press the switch. Oh my God. All right, let me try and move the camera out. It's getting a little bit crazy. 
But yeah, it spins in uh, three different directions. So it's spinning on the parallel plane and then on the perpendicular plane. And then there's another bearing on the actual end of it. So it's pretty wild because of the physics of this game. Obviously, I'm like running and spinning around. Um, I think it looks better actually if I can see it from the outside. So if a person wasn't in there, this is exactly what it would do. But when someone is in there, it kind of just jacks them around all over the place. So yeah, I'm wondering what other theme park rides I can do. I'm sure there's something else I could do that would be cool. I just haven't thought of a really good design yet. So we've obviously got the Ferris wheel over here. Oh god, now I have to turn this thing off. Ow, ow, my face. Alright, so let me try and reach the switch. Okay, thank god. Man, that thing is wild, wild, man. Alright, so here is our Ferris wheel. I don't know why this thing is spinning. Maybe I did something with it. Let's try and fix it. Oh, it's still working. That's awesome. Um, one thing you guys suggested is for me to put rockets on it, so I might do that. Uh, it's pretty crazy though. I don't know why it's stopping there. I really hope it actually goes to the bottom. This thing is kind of just a glitchy mess. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and put some rockets on it. Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, so it's off by like 15 degrees or maybe even less. I did find out that you don't have to do 5 de degree implement ugh, increments in this game, so that changes a lot. Um, but let's put some rockets on this puppy and see what we can do. Um, which way does it spin normally? I gotta find that out. So let's try this. Okay, so it is going backwards. That's not really what I want. Um, whoa, it's going crazy. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? That's too much Ferris wheel speed. Oh my god, it looks like it's just gonna glitch out. It looks like it's tilting. Oh my god, alright. Well, um... What I'm going to try and do is not use the controller, and we're just going to have the rockets. Okay, this is getting a little bananas. This is more like a terror ride. It's not a fun ride. It's not slow. Oh, I had it on fast. All right, let's slow it down. Okay, so I turned it off. Now I'm going to disconnect the controller, hopefully. Okay, uh, we've stopped it, sort of. Uh, it's a little bit chaotic. Uh, I'm going to put the rockets on... Uh, I guess I don't have as much access as I did before, uh, but it spins backwards, so we're going to have to put the rockets like right here. Oh god, it's changing the the uh, whole weight of this thing. Okay, well that works. Um, now I just need to get to the rest of the rocket. Okay, so I'm going to need to use the controller a little bit just to change this around. Uh, let's hope I can get to it in time. I don't know what is happening right now. Okay, I think it's finally not glitching out. I need to get to this upper part though. Let's see if I can uh, boost myself up. No, no, it's glitching out. Okay, I managed to get a few rockets on there. Um, and now I need to connect them, which is gonna be a real pain. Uh, so let's turn them to the engine. Is it gonna reach though? That's my one question. Are we gonna have enough reach? Oh, I need to get back up there. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so ridiculous. All right. Well, um, let's see if I can drag it from here. Okay, I can't reach it from there. So I think all the rockets are going to have to be right here, which is a little bit unfortunate, uh, but we're going to make it work. All right. So three rockets, that should be enough, right? Uh, all right. Let's see if it'll work. I don't know why it looks so off right now. As you guys can see, it's at about like a five degree angle, and that's not good. Uh, so this might not work. Oh, there we go. We did it. Yay. Oh, the rockets do work, and they're just about the perfect speed, I think, to make this go round. So, oh, this is so cool. One other thing I could do is put the carts inside the Ferris wheel, but I don't know if it would fit that well. But this is the perfect speed, I think. Gets you nice and slow at the top. Oh, that's so cool. Oh man, we did it! Oh, that's so awesome. Alright, well, rockets, obviously a better choice than the controller. Thank you to whoever suggested the rockets. Hopefully I'll remember who you were. But man, this works so much better. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed me working on some of my new stuff. Hopefully it was great, and you guys can give me a like, favorite, and share. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic.